Now at 530 Halloween is just days away and while the night can be scary, health officials are hoping it's a safe one. Joining, my, uh, joining me now is 12 News reporter Alexandra Leslie. Alexandra, CDC no longer has Halloween specific guidance, so what should families know about the weekend? Well, Mike, the CDC and our local health officials say the number one way to minimize COVID-19 risk and keep your family and friends safe is to get vaccinated if you're eligible. Health officials are hoping this Halloween is a little less frightening with COVID-19 vaccines now in the mix for anyone over 12. Well, if there's one thing the pandemic took from us, was some of our fun. So as the pandemic is still going on, it's still a big deal. We've learned how to manage it, but we need to bring back the fun to Halloween. Last year, some households got creative with handing out candy, like using shoots. Rhode Island Department of Health's medical director, Dr. James McDonald's, left his on his porch last year. This year, he says he's opting for a more traditional way. Which is kids are gonna come to my front door, and my son or myself will actually just hand out the candy. Some cities like Warwick don't regulate Halloween or the trick or treating that goes along with it. Mayor Frank Picosi says how families celebrate is up to them. We just tell people do whatever makes you comfortable. And we've told them that because of COVID too. Um, I, I expect a lot of kids to be out trick or treating. Um, and as far as giving candy out or how you give it out, that's up to the individual. I plan on giving candy. Dr. McDonald says he's encouraging people celebrating to keep it outside. It's just lower risk than being inside. And I think that's just one way to do it. If you can trick or treat outside, it's a safer way to do it. As far as masks go, Dr. M says those handing out candy don't need one if they're outdoors. But if you're in an apartment building and you have people coming into your apartment building and you're gonna do it indoors, it's safer to wear a mask. Dr. McDonald also recommends keeping hand sanitizer with your Halloween gear, staying in small groups, and also to wear a face mask, not a costume mask by itself, if going to any indoor celebrations. Live in studio, Alexandra Leslie, 12 News.